Hey guys, it's Shadow the Rat, and for today's video, I will be working with my rat, Olive. Uh, she is doing some training with me, uh, and to start, we're going to call her over and see how quick she is to come. I can see her right now, she's grooming herself, so let's see uh, how quick she responds. And here she is. So we've been working on Come When Called. Uh, I started that in a prior session. I showed you, I think, in the third or fourth session. Uh, basically, you just pair the noise with getting treats when they're nearby, and you start calling them when they are further and further away. So it's a very useful little thing to teach them. <laughs> oh. <laughs> She's so excited to test out her new Come When Called, too. Uh, it's not really new for them. It's something we've been working on, but uh, I think it's really cool to see the results because they will come pretty much all the time if they are outside the cage. Um, and if they are awake and inside the cage, they will also try and come out. So that's pretty cool. And you can see Olive has a, <laughs> a little bit of a hyperactive streak. <laughs> Also, she wants me to call her. Um, she has developed a bit of a boomerang behavior where she knows if she runs off, uh, I will call her back and she can get a treat. So I need to stop rewarding that behavior. It's super cute, but I need to not reward it because it's not a great thing to encourage. Uh, that's why she's actually running off. She wants me to call her back. She's looking for treats. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started by training first with some basketball. I've been working basketball with Olive for a little while now, uh, and and this trick is a little bit more difficult than other tricks. Um, I'm trying to teach her versus basketball so that she can play against her sister and against some of my other rats. Uh, and right now, she's doing really well. She's had a few sessions uh, working with the versus basketball, and she's even worked a bit with Sugar, which is my older rat. Um, who knows the other hoop. Her sister will be learning the other hoop, but we just haven't got to that yet. So, I am right now just working on rewarding her for targeting the other hoop, even though she missed there. Since we're just warming up, I'm going to reward her because uh, I just want her to target this area because before she was having issues where she tried to bring the ball to me each time uh, just because I taught her to fetch first, so it was more natural. But we're slowly getting to the point where she will go to the hoop uh, first when the hoops are out because otherwise I do want her to fetch to me automatically and you can see I don't want her fetching to the other hoop that is something she did in another video uh, I think the last video I did with her playing basketball she tried to put it in the other hoop a few times even though we haven't trained with the other hoop and that's just because well she generalized the behavior really well which is great on one hand but uh, on the other hand for this trick where she needs to target one hoop I don't want her to be targeting the wrong one good job Okay, she's doing really well. Uh, I'm not really too concerned about her at this point with basketball since she seems to really like it. At first she was a little bit hesitant about it because she didn't really like moving this wiffle ball around, uh, but she came around to it pretty quickly and I practiced it some with some other items that were easier to grip. And on top of that, we've also done some work uh, with my other rat sugar who has learned to target the other ball hoop. Uh, and her sister will later be learning the other ball hoop as well. So I'm pretty happy with her progress. Did you find some yogurt? Anyways, I'm not really wanting to focus on basketball in this session. I just wanted to get in a few reps to keep the behavior strong. And I'm going to be working on something else uh, for the main part of the session. So I'll have her do it one more time and we will be good. Good job. Nice been press. Good job. Okay, so now we're going to move on to training something else. And, well, we have two options. First, we can teach her to fetch a tissue. Uh, we'd just be teaching the basics, probably not the whole thing. Second, we can teach her to fetch her own mailbox. So, I'm not quite sure which one I wanna do, but I'm thinking fetch a tissue is what I want to go with today. Uh, so, we're going to start that. And let's see if we can call her back, because she's being crazy. She's coming, give her time. She went into the cage because her sister just woke up and, uh, well, she was being a distraction. But her come and call is getting really good. You ready? So let's have her get that a few times. Yeah, baby. Let's, get, let's have her, here, we'll have her bring it to me. Just right there. Good. I'm in a little bit of trouble figuring out what do I want her to do with that? Ready? Good job. She didn't get it in my hand, but again, 
Uh, this is just the beginning of this trick. So I want to reward any attempt to get me the ball because right now I just want to focus on her learning to fetch a tissue, which can be kind of difficult. It can be a very strange material to grip, especially when it opens up. That's why I start with it in a ball because it's easier to bite on. And well, first I like to work with something that they're also kind of familiar with. So she's familiar with working with a ball shape uh, and with a paper ball. So that's why I go to a ball shape for tissues first. Here. Good job. So now I'm going to kind of wiggle the tissue out some. Oh, you can see here is a little Miss Donut. Uh, she was being a distraction in the cage. Hi, Donut. So I'm just starting to kind of open up the tissue because I want her to get used to fetching it when... <laughs> what are you doing? Don't... Don't just get in zoomies because she just came out. So you can see it's a little bit weird for her to grip now. Can you get it for me? Can you get it for me? Good. So she was trying to drag it. A little bit of a difficulty there. I'm going to scrunch one end a little bit more to see if that helps her. Good job. That did help her some. So you can see it gets more difficult the more you open it. Uh, and that can make it a little bit harder for them to uh, figure out what you're asking for. So you have to break it down into smaller pieces. Just like, what? Let's see if she'll bring it a little bit closer to me. Oh. Her sister's being a little butt. So I was training at the cage door open because no one else was awake, but then someone woke up. Is that right, little donut? Oh my gosh, she's so cute. You ready? Get that. Whoops. Get it. Good job. Oh my god. Ah, donut's losing it. Donut! You crazy little thing! When they wake up and they first come out of the cage, they get the zoomies. And that's what Donut's doing right now. She's she's losing it. Hi, Donut. You're such a cutie. Oh, can you get that one more time, huh? Right here. Good job. So I'm gonna put it on here. We'll see how she does. <laughs> Ready? Olive, you bring me that? Good job. Oops, my click was late there, but I wanted to click her for trying to take it off the top of the tissue box. She can. can you get it? Nope. What about here? There. Come on. Good job. Okay, well, I'm going to go back to a more tissue form, a uh, more ball form, I mean, because she's having some difficulty, and of course, we have a little donut zooming around and distracting everyone. Right there. Good job. It also helps when you're going to a new step, like, you know, putting it on top of something. I had to go back to something they had an easier time with. <laughs> Did you just jump in the way, Donut? <sighs> Donut is being quite the annoying sibling, huh? Are you ready? Can you bring me this? Good job. So I want her to bring it to my hand because that gives me more control over the fetch uh, and it allows me to encourage her to bring it closer to me which is hard to do if you don't have a target for them to bring it to, so. Can you get on my hand? Good job! And there, I actually had good click timing for once. I swear I can't talk and click in half these videos. I feel like my timing is off. Usually it's better, but, ah, uh, good job. Okay, so I'm just going to have her do a few more. Um, because we're probably close to 10 minutes at this point, I think. I'm not quite sure. Uh, so I don't want to overdo it. You get that? Good job. So I'll have her do one more uh, with the open tissue. You can also see, I think she is definitely um, kind of done with training here, which is just fine. So now I'm going to end this with her fetching a crinkled ball. And that's just because I want to end this on a good note. Uh, and it's always best to end a session when they're not confused and on something that they are having no problem with. So I'm going to end it with her fetching this uh, one more time. And then we'll be done. Good. You get it. Good job. Good job. So now she is done. Uh, that was a pretty good session. As you can see, we did not finish it, but she's like, uh, excuse me. 
Excuse me. Can you spin? Good. Uh, you'll notice that we did not finish training this trick this session, but that's pretty normal. Some tricks just take longer to train, and we did work on some other stuff this session, uh, so it wasn't the only thing we were working on as well. But anyways, I think we will finish this probably next session, and in the meantime, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!